Assalamu alaikum myself Ahkam Ansari student I am back again with yet another video lecture of information technology in this particular video lecture we will learn a new topic in impressive web designing that is decision making statement what is mean by decision making we have to reach or we 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 have to do some certain thing or we have to take certain decision on certain situation okay so in the same way if we are going to do programming or while we are doing some programming for a particular task we get a situation where we have to take certain decision means we have to do either this one or this one means we have two choices we have three choices we have four choices so on the basis of our choices we have to move our coding or we have to write our coding accordingly so at that particular time when we have to decide something on the basis of our decision that code will be run for example if we if we have two day and night a, a day is divided into day and night where day day times are called as a am okay if we are in a day so the, the our timer will be or our time date time will be in am at the same time if we are in at evening or at night our time timer or our date time will show as a pm so now we have two choices either we have to display our timer am or pm so now this is on the basis of the day and night so so there is a two choices either you you can display am or you can display pm but on the basis our basis of our date and time we can display in the same way while we are going to code okay while we are going to code or while we are going to write a programming or anything it, we got some situation where we have to take some decision okay and on the basis of their decision we have to perform certain next coding okay so in javascript not only in javascript all programming language have that type of decision making statement okay and that decision making statement is called as if statement means if this will this thing will happen then we will do this thing if this thing will happen then we will do this thing means on the basis of certain condition we have to follow the next step or the next coding okay for example uh, if I say if your age is let 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 have one more example. For example, you are you are going to cast vote for your upcoming oh, Lok Sabha election, you can say, or for any election. Now you have to cast vote. Okay. So now if you see if you are there is a criteria in Indian Indian rule that if your age is less than 18 year you are not allowed to vote okay or you are not eligible actually okay so here we are going to check the we have to take the decision on the basis of age means if the person's age is less than 18 year he or she cannot vote or he is she is not eligible for vote okay in the same way if i took another example like as per the indian rule if a man is if a man age is less than 21 year he is not eligible for marriage okay in the same way means now the age is criteria on the basis of age we have to take two decision if the age is more than 18 year the code will run accordingly and if the age is less than 18 year the code will run accordingly means now you will get two choices on the basis means we have to decide on the basis of age then we will take two decision if the age is more than 21 he he can he is eligible for marriage and if the age is less than 21 he is not eligible okay so now we have two now we have to take two decision and on the basis of our output we can move either one or two so if the statement work like the same mean if a statement is a decision making statement in which we will get one result the result will be either true and the result will be either false so let's have a look on how the format how the syntax given in javascript for decision making that is for if statement okay 
so now see the if statement is also called as a conditional statement means where we have to check a condition like i just given an example that for example your age i have just given your age is a, your criteria means if your age is more than 18 year you are allowed to vote okay so age is a criteria now you will get two thing whether your age may be 18 year or less than 18 year yes your age may be 18 year or less than 18 year so on the basis of the condition if the condition is true you will get we will execute some code and if condition is false we will execute some code so just read out the definition i have just written a meaning actually so you can write any meaning the thing is that you have to understood okay so an if statement i'm just reading this one an if statement is conditional statement in programming language okay i'm i have written in programming language but you have to you have to understood as a all programming language okay means i think all programming language support if condition okay if statement that is a conditional statement in which we will check we will verify certain condition and on the basis of the result whether condition is true or false we move our code okay so if the condition if the condition return the true if the condition return the true when it will return to when the condition is satisfied for example for example let's have one more example i want to check i want to check a number i want to check a number whether number is positive or negative okay so now we have two thing one is positive one is negative. so we have to check if number is greater than zero if number is greater than zero number is positive means on the basis of this if condition will check certain condition and if the condition is true it will execute some next code and if the condition is false it can execute some another code it's on it depends on the programmer how he is going to write but the thing is that if condition is used for checking for verifying a condition where you have to take two decisions okay student why i am focusing why i am going so deep i have given three to four example only on if because it is supported it is very famous and it is very important in all the programming language irrespective of javascript c c++ c sharp all python you can so whatever language you will learn you will get if statement there okay now see the syntax syntax in javascript we are learning javascript so i just want to show the syntax in javascript so first we have to write if okay you have to write first if in a small letter okay then you have to you have to write a circle bracket okay then inside that circle bracket you have to write the condition which you are going to check okay this is the decision actually condition means here is a decision making statement you have to write you have to write a condition or you have to write a decision making statement so the result of this condition or this statement or this decision the result of this decision will affect the next line of code okay so first you have to write if then you have to write a circle bracket inside that circular bracket you have to write the condition decision so if the decision is true if the condition is true so after just below that you have a curly bracket okay you have a curly braces so inside that if condition is true student just try to understand when the condition is true when condition is satisfied then only you, the cursor or you can move inside that bracket that is a opening bracket and that is a closing bracket okay opening curly bracket this is the syntax when you, you you are going to use if you have to write if then you have to write circle circle bracket inside that you will write condition decision statement then if condition is true then you have to write opening curly closing curly bracket so this is compulsory means if if you have to write then bracket 
एंड इन साइड दैट यू हैव टू एड सर्टन कंडीशन देन ओपनिंग कर ली ब्रिगेज एंड क्लोजिंग कर ली ब्रिगेज सो इन साइड दैट इफ कंडीशन इज ट्रू देन दिस लाइन ऑफ कोड विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड मीन्स your cursor your pointer will in will come inside that block that is opening and closing block when the condition is true if condition is false it will never enter in this block of code okay if condition is false or if condition is not satisfied your cursor your execution of code will not enter inside that block of code it will directly exit means it will not go inside that it will directly come out of from if condition okay now most of the time we use if and else but we will see else what is else that is a false condition if condition is false so it will directly move to false but most of the time we use only if condition we don't write else condition okay so i think now you got the clear idea what is if why we use if condition so if you are not getting anything student once i start the practical when i start the programming you will get all of this thing okay because it is very important it is very easy the thing is that you have to understand what i am trying to do means we have to write a decision then on the basis of decision your next code will be executed so let's have a example of if condition in programming language okay so i am going to open my notepad just i am going back to my notepad this is my notepad where i am going to write coding okay i have to write code inside the html page okay that's why i have written doc type html because i have to write in html5 then i will write html and closing html inside that i will add some other important tag like head tag closing head tag then inside that i will write title tag it's up to you whether you want to add title tag or not it will display on your title bar okay so this is title tag inside that i am going to write uh, for example if statement okay now i am going to add body tag and closing body tag okay let me change the background color of your page by using bg color attribute so bg color equal to i am going to write orange okay so i have just added a simple and basic html tag let me save it so i am going to save on my desktop you can assign any name for example i am going to write if statement okay dot html if statement dot html i have written okay let me show the output we have just added a simple html tags and we have created a simple html page so our page is if let me check where is saved let me search okay this is my page if statement okay so when you open you will get nothing but on top you will get if statement this line or this text is coming because we have added inside the title tag we have added title tag and inside title tag we have added this text that is a if statement okay now we have a blank page now we are going to write javascript code so how we can add javascript code we know we have to write inside the body tag or we have a option we can add inside the head tag too but i am going to write inside the body tag so how we can add by using script tag we can add scripting language so this is opening and this is closing script tag and inside opening tag i will use one attribute called language equals to i will write javascript because i am going to use scripting language called javascript 
Now whatever I will write between these opening and closing script take it will considered as a JavaScript code. So first I will declare a variable for example where a equals to I am going to write 25 or instead of a I am going to write where age equal to 25 I have just declared a variable see what is mean by this line I have declared a variable which name is age the name of variable is age and the value is 25 and what is a where where is a keyword which is used to declare a variable and this semicolon is optional okay because JavaScript support semicolon even you can add or it's up to your say optional okay so at the end of the every statement you can put semicolon okay now I am going to check whether if the age of person is less than 21 I have to show some message okay so I have to check so how we can check we have to use if condition okay so just go back to your coding and see what is the syntax of this if condition so I'm just going to write inside comment section this is comment student it's a multi-line comment okay so first I will write if then inside that I will write some condition okay I will write some condition and if then I will write opening and closing bracket yes if this condition is true okay okay if this condition is true okay this condition means what I have to write inside that certain condition if this condition is true then I will say I will display a message okay I will display a message okay you are eligible for marriage okay eligible for marriage okay so this is certain algorithm I have written means this thing we have to perform this thing we have to perform by using our coding so first I will write if so after this comment I am going to write if you should have understood what I have done over here this is nothing but I have written a comment okay inside that comment I am just try to explain okay this line of code will not execute because I have written this forward slash and I have told you how we can add comment in JavaScript okay so comments mean not executable part okay this line of code I have written inside by using English language it's not JavaScript language so this line of code from this if to this one it will consider it as a comment so it will not read okay after where age it will directly move to over here okay so first I have to write if then inside circle bracket I have to write some condition which condition I have to write I have to check whether the age is greater than 18 or not so how I can put if I have written age is greater than 21 okay this is my condition what is age age is a variable in which I have stored some value okay age is a variable in which I have stored some value that value I have to check so if age is greater than 21 after that we have to write this opening and closing bracket and after that I have to write some line of code means I have to write some message okay so I will write document dot write inside that I will pass some message okay which message I will write okay you are eligible for 
marriage okay so at the end i will put semi colon now this is my javascript code okay student this is my javascript code but this is comment this line of code will not execute i have written this line just to explain you okay so what will happen when you run your program so first line it will come over here and it will declare a variable which name is age and inside that it will store some value which is 25 after that it will directly come to here because this part will not execute okay this part will not execute it will directly come now here you have written some certain condition means if inside that you have written a condition if age is what is the age 25 so it will put 25 over here so 20 if 25 is greater than 21 condition is true or false student condition is true or false 25 is greater than 21 condition is true so if condition is true then it will come inside that bracket that block of code this is called as a block of code okay means between opening and closing curly bracket what you can write this is called as a block of code you can add multiple line not only one line you can add multiple line okay for example i am going to write same line again and again now if condition is true these two line will execute okay let me show the output obviously condition is true yes or no because age is 25 25 is greater than 21 so you will get this message two time so this is my coding let me open it yes student if you unable to see let me zoom it you are getting the same message twice okay first it will end up here okay okay you are eligible for marriage then you are getting same message again because you have used two time okay you have used two time okay so not required two time just i just want to explain you that block of code means not only one single line you can add multiple line and these line will execute if condition is true if condition is false for example your age is 20 age is 20 now now 20 is greater than 21 condition is true or false what will happen first your code will load on browser then it will declare a variable which name is age and it will assign value as 20 okay after that it will come and it will put inside that if condition the age will be 20 okay now it will check whether 20 is greater than 21 okay condition is true or false condition is false if condition is false it will never enter inside that block it will never enter inside that block so you will not get any output because you have written code for true statement you have written code for true decision means if your condition will satisfy then this line of code will execute but if your your condition will not satisfy then you have written nothing so nothing will display okay let me open it again so you are getting nothing why because your condition is false okay student getting or not let me change it again if i put age equal to 200 the person is very lucky and he is now 200 years old okay now it will put 200 over here and 200 is greater than 21 condition is true yes again you will get these two line of code on your output okay let me refresh it getting again you got the same output when condition is true then that line of code will be executed okay student now same program we are going to do some interesting way like instead of fixing 
the the value of age now i am going to accept by using prompt here i am directly declaring and assigning at the same time now i am going to accepting value from user okay i am going to accept value from user means i am going to accept age from user and if age is more than 21 year i will display this message okay so i am just going to remove this line of code now i am going to remove this one with i think you understood why i have written okay now here i am directly assigning value to our age now i will not assign instead of assign i will take prompt okay inside that i will pass a message let me write please please enter your age okay and what will happen i think you have done in number of the time what is mean by that line this line of code will generate a prompt box inside that prompt box you can insert any value that value will store inside that variable which means age so inside age you will get value from the user which is entered by the prompt box after that we are doing the same thing means we are going to check the age entered by the user with 21 okay no now i am going you should understood what i have done what i have done the code is same the only initially i have declared a variable initially what i have done i have declared where age equal to 25 i have written yes or no now this 25 i am not going to write hard code okay because it's a hard code value it's a age is fixed over here okay now i am going to write i am going to take this value from user so how i will get i have written prompt okay so by using prompt you will get a prompt box and user can enter a value inside that box so that value will store inside variable age so same thing i am doing here i am just fixed or i am writing constant value 25 okay but here i am going to take value from user on the run time okay so let me save it fill it back to your code i think i have close let me open it again now now you are getting a message what it is saying please enter your age okay this is called a prompt box please enter your age here in this box i can enter any age for example if i enter 12 so this 12 this 12 will be assigned to my variable age okay yes or no because by using this line you are getting a prompt box and you have enter 12 so this 12 will be assigned to age now age here miss 12 is greater than 21 it will check in con condition 12 because we have added age as a 12 so 12 is greater than 21 condition is true or false condition is false because 12 is not greater than 21 so if condition is false this line of code will not execute when it will execute if the condition is true if condition is satisfied okay so you will get result as a false and you will get nothing okay only blank page because we have not written false code when i click okay you will get nothing okay because your condition is false in the same way if i refresh again again it is saying enter your age this time i am going to write my age is 26 okay now this 26 will when you click on okay this 26 will be assigned to variable age yes or no like initially it was it was assigned as a 12 again it will check 26 is greater than 21 condition is true or false 26 is greater than 21 condition is true when condition is true it will enter inside that bracket that opening bracket it will insert when when the condition is true only so it will insert and enter sorry 
it will enter inside that that block and it will see there's written something and it will execute so it will say document dot write means it is used to open display something what you want to display you want to display okay you are eligible for marriage okay let me save it, it already in save mode so when you click on okay that 26 will be assigned and it will be checked and you will get message so now you are getting message yes or no you are getting okay you are eligible for marriage okay student so in your board examination in your board examination there might be a question like many times this question has been asked in your board examination as well as in your standard 11 examination except date of birth or age from user okay except age from user and check whether he can vote or not okay whether he can vote he can cast vote or not now you have to accept age by using this line okay by using this line you you, you can accept age and you can check by using if condition you can put age over here and you can check with the year 21 so if the age is age means what the value of age and the value will come by using prompt so you can check age if age is greater than 21 or or you can put if age is or you want to write a code like this if age is less than if age is less than 21 okay if age is less than 21 you can assign sorry you can you can write some message sorry you are not eligible okay now again i am checking now when the condition will true if age is less than 21 okay if age is less than 21 then condition will true yes or no save it refresh you will get please enter your age i have entered my age as a 12 okay so i have entered 12 now this 12 will assign to variable age yes or no and now 12 is less than 21 12 is less than condition is true yes or no yes now it will move inside that that bracket or that block of code and it will say that sorry you are not eligible for marriage because your age is less than 21 okay save it i have enter now you will get sorry you are not eligible for marriage but if i click if i enter value for for example 26 so that 26 will go inside variable age and it will check 26 is less than 21 condition is true or false should tell me 26 is less than what is mean by that bracket okay 26 is less than 21 tell me what is the result of this expression 26 is less than 21 condition is true or false condition is false why i have written 26 because when user enter 26 it will assign to variable age and i have written same age over here so this will consider as a 26 because the value of a is 26 so it will check the with the value okay getting that's why you are getting now for false condition means if the condition is false 26 will assign to age variable and 26 is less than 21 means condition is false 26 is not less than that means condition is false if condition is false it will not enter inside that block of code okay so you will get nothing on your browser 
okay you have entered 26 when you click okay you will get nothing but if you enter value less than 21 for example 20 you will get output sorry you are not eligible for marriage okay now means you can put any condition it's up to you it's up to programmer you can put any condition but the thing is that if condition is used to decide something means it will check a condition on the basis of condition if it is a true it will run or it will enter inside that true section okay this section is called as a true section okay this section is called as a true means if the condition is true then it will come inside that otherwise it will not enter inside that okay if condition is false it will not enter inside that in next lecture i will show how we can write false statement or how we can write code for else statement okay where if and else both are used simultaneously okay so don't worry i hope you could understand what we have learned what we have discussed in this particular lecture i think i have explained in very detail but is even you have any query any question related to this topic or if condition please feel free to post your question student why i am focusing more because this is very important and every language you will find if statement okay that's for today thank you for watching thanks for listening inshallah we will meet soon in next video lecture okay thank you allah office